Escamis, the steal and the dish. Just does it. Papua get game one. And Beda, if they're giving a statement mm. on the way they're playing right now. Clifford Hopia with a gimme underneath. Jacob Cortez tries and scores for San Beda. There are heroes who were born to greatness. This is very special for us as players. I really want to win this championship for them. They really sacrifice a lot for this. I just want to do it for them, especially my coaching, the coaching staff, and my, my, my family, my brothers, and the community as well. We want to prove everyone wrong. No one thought that we would be here. But us, it's all about proving them wrong. And giving back to the San Beda community, of course. Uh, matagal na walang championship siya. Five years na, na wala sa amin yung championship eh. So I think it's this time talaga yung ano, the right time for us to bring back the crowd sa Minjola. Cuenco able to get inside and score the layup. Oh, his defender falling down. Escames cut deep. Oh, denied by Andrada. Oh. But Soriano follows up his own miss. While there are others who are made. Our MVP is. For moments like this. Clint Escames. Grabe talaga yung pinaghirapan namin eh. Lalo na this past year. Kailangan, kailangan talaga manalo. I'm going to last year, ko na, so we need to get it. Then, 32 years drop ng Mapua, na kailangan matapos na namin. Tsaka para sa family namin and mga Mapua community na umaasa. Uh, wala nang bukas yun. Do or day na yun. Off-season pa lang, yun na yung ano namin, target namin. Championship. And um, 32 years, napakatagal na. So, we'll try to end this drought. Uh, 32 years, siguro, enough na motivation yun para sa amin. The time has come for our protagonists to finish their epic story. You can go! It's a three-point party for San Beda. They're looking good. Recto with a counter again. This final chapter is called Game Three. A season like no other deserves an epic conclusion. And it's only fitting that the final chapter of our story takes place at a venue where many heroes, both born and made, saw their goals fulfilled and dreams realized. We are greeting you from the Mecca of Philippine sports, the Araneta Coliseum, for Game 3 
of the NCAA Season 99 Finals where a new champion is set to be crowned in front of a passionate audience watching live on television via GMA and simulcast on GTV. The Sun Beta University Red Lions, the winningest team in Philippine collegiate basketball looking to win the championship that they last won back in season 94 as they take on the Mapua University Cardinals who are looking to end a 32-year title drought. That is the situation, that is the story, and it has boiled down to one final game for the championship as a new champion will be crowned today, December 17, 2023. It is Mapua versus San Beda. Mabuhay Pilipinas at maraming salamat po sa inyong pagtutok ngayon as we are greeting everybody who are tuned in live and watching online via GMA Sports, PH, and NCA Philippines on YouTube. And do engage us with all the conversations online using the hashtag NCAA Finals Game 3. My name is Anton Rojas and for a game like this, a dream scenario, it is only fitting that we welcome back home a man who is deeply rooted in the NCAA, he played for San Sebastian. He coached San Sebastian, his alma mater, coached LPU to their first two and only finals appearances. And most recently, he added collegiate champion coach to his resume, silencing all of the haters. Welcome <laughs> home, Coach Topex Robinson. Yes, thank you very much, Anton, and I'm just so happy to be here. Nothing, nothing ever, ever beats college basketball. It's a great situation, Coach, and we are so thankful and honored to have you. But of course, a lot of stories, a lot of discussions that you and I will be talking about throughout the coverage. And to do, th to do that, to help us with that, are our courtside reporters. Let's bring them in. Sparkle GMA artists Lexi Gonzalez will be reporting for the Mapua University Cardinals. And of course, over on the other side, we have Hannah Arguelles, who will be at courtside for San Beda. We'll get to the girls in just a short bit. I gotta ask you, Coach, since, since I know it's still fresh in your heart and in your mind, what does it take to win a game three? Wow, a lot of a lot of guts, uh, a lot of uh, energy, I guess. But more than anything else, I think it's, it's going back to what really works for you. And I'm sure both coaches knows what to do. But ang, ang, and parin yan is the players, eh? how well are they gonna buy in to what you really wanna accomplish this afternoon? This is the fifth time that Mapua and San Beda will be facing off this season. San Beda lost the first three games, but finally cracked the code against Mapua, winning in game number two with their backs against the wall. That was a solid performance coming from San Beda, expecting that they're gonna go out there with guns blazing. Looking at the digits right now, it is really obvious that you know it's a knit and tuck affair for both of these teams, but just like what everybody said, defense wins championships. That's exactly what San Beda showed, especially in the fourth quarter against Mapua as they have been limiting the team of coach Randy Alcantara to just 10.5 points in the payoff period. Yeah, that was crucial. Uh, actually, looking back at the first two games of, uh, of Mapua, yes, they go out guns blazing come third quarter, but questionable palagi Anton is the fourth quarter for this Mapua team. So I'm interested to see if Coach Randy will make some adjustments with regards to the rotation mm -hmm. because it has been a very shallow rotation for the Cardinals here in the finals. Yeah, I think for now it's gonna work because compared to game one and game two, medyo ilang araw lang yung uh, pagitan uh, ng pahinga but now you have a week to prepare. I'm sure all those bruises, all those tiredness are gonna be gone and thrown out of the window because we are talking about a do or die game three. I actually talked to coach Yuri Escueta and he told me that it was favorable for his team to have one week of preparation and rest for this game number three because game number two was very physical. Jacob Cortez and Jomel Puno actually weren't able to practice three days after game two. Naka practice lang sila ulit nung Webes. That was gonna be crucial, Anton, because you know Mapua is known to be a really solid physical defend defensive team. So yung mga ganung bagay really is gonna be crucial, yung pahinga. Not only for the few guys, but also for the coaches. Because for you to really map out a plan, a grand plan for this uh, event, is gonna take a lot of time. We all know about the stars. Clint Escamis, the rookie MVP. Jacob Cortez, the King Lion. 
But these guys right here, JC Recto, emerged with a double double in game number two. And Yuki and Andrada, who hit the dagger in the fourth quarter, they will be crucial in this deciding game. Crucial it is for both of these teams. But right now, Anton, you need everybody that could really chip in, especially for a team. You know, you want to go deep in your rotation, deep in your lineup. So, kailangan dito talaga. Any, any contribution that you could make is going to be crucial. I'm so excited to see what type of performance these supporting players will show in today's final game to end what has been an epic journey. A season like no other here in Season 99 of the NCAA as our new heroes of the game will go at it for all the marbles here in this deciding game number three. Let's take a look at the starters for the Mapua Cardinals. A big, big change. Paulo Hernandez making his first start for the Cardinals since November 3. He has only started in five games for Mapua this season, so this is a huge development for Coach Randy Alcatra. When you talk about preparation, when you talk about one week, that's what you get, Anton. You get guys that you really are making sure that will match up, whichever it is, defensively or offensively, rin, Anton, because baka meron kang plan of gawin. Especially crucial is the start of the first quarter. Kumbaga, the momentum is gonna be crucial. Now for the team of Coach Yuri Escueta, he's going with the same starters that he put out in game number two. Aaron Royo was the big story in that game. Barely played in game number one, just 12 seconds to be exact. But he started in game number two, mas humaba yung rotation. James Mayosi came off the bench and that did the trick for the Sun Better Red Lions because it opened up the floor for Jacob Cortez. If it ain't broke, why fix it? I'm sure that's one of the things that Coach Yuri Squeta and the rest of the coaching staff are thinking about right now because they have a good combination with, between Royo and uh, Jacob Cortez. Why? Because during game one, Jacob was always the one bringing down the ball. Yung pinag-usapan natin is the physicality of this game. So now you have a backup point guard. Not only going to facilitate the offense for you, but also will be somebody who will be guard, maybe Clint Esamis. And Game 3 is officially underway. And the first possession will go to the Sun Beta University Red Lions. Four graduating players on the Sun Beta side. Team captain Peter Alfaro, Dami Kuntapay, J.B. Gallego, and Cliff Hopia. Over on the other side for Mapua, Warren Bonifacio will be playing in his final NCAA game along with Jopet Soriano. Coach, a different situation for you, a different game three. You from being on the coaching sidelines to now hearing being in the panel. It's gonna be fun for me because I've been in the I've been in the finals twice. And they always in game three. So this is unfamiliar territory for me, but I'm about to witness a game that's gonna be for sure be token for ages. Coach Randy Alcantara looking to recapture the championship he last won as a player 32 years ago. Let's go to your keys to victory, Coach Topex, as we see here for Mapua. Talking about Coach Randy Alcantara and the rest of the Mapua Cardinals, finishing strong is going to be crucial because game one and game two, yes, they were leading majority of those games, but come fourth quarter, medyo dun sila nagpo-falter. Maybe one of the reasons why is because Coach Randy doesn't really have that deep of a rotation for his team. Valuing every possession. Game two, Mapua still committed the same turnovers, 11. But in effect, itong San Beda was able to convert 13 points off of those turnovers and 16 pass breaks points. That's why it's very important that you take care of the ball. Pound the paint, you want to go high percentage, Anton. This is the finals. You want to go as closer or as deeper to the basket if you are Mapua. Mapua, as I mentioned earlier, only averaging 10.5 points in the fourth period. Sunbed averaging 19. 
So that just goes to show na mas malalim ang rotation nitong San Beda. Escamis, aatake. Hernandez, too strong on the jumper, Bonifacio against Hopia. Warren Bonifacio, too strong, and Cliff Hopia comes up with the rebound. Jacob stops, pops, and connects! It's a 4 to nothing start for the Bedans. Game 2 of the finals, this was the same scenario, Anton. Itong San Beda coming off a good start, but itong Mapua naman slowly is gonna inch your way in. But the turnovers of Mapua is not gonna help him anyways. San Beda got off to an 8 to nothing start in game number 2. Cortez for 3. Short. At babalik ang bola sa Mapuans. What an atmosphere. A sea of red and yellow in this finals rematch. 32 years in the making. Bola na kay Escamis. The rookie of the year. The MVP. Also part of the all-defensive team. Escamis against Cortez. Escamis! Right in the face of the King Lion. Escam is making sure that he's not going to miss those shots, especially ito yung pinanghuhutan ng energy or ng hope nitong Mapua. That's why early on, you'll see how aggressive he is. Royo, the surprise starter, dumps the ball to Hopia. Hopia underneath, Bonifacio with a stop. That was a good defensive stop coming from Warren Bonifacio. Early on, being physical with dito kay Clint Hopia. Cortez is defending Escamis. The switch comes. Escamis pulls up. Can't convert. And the whistle blowed, but you can't hear it. All right. Clint Escamis, the face of the NCAA, the hero that Mapua is hoping to deliver a championship. Lexi Gonzalez was able to speak with him earlier today. Let's go to Lexi right now. Before we go to Clint Escamis, I want to share a few about Coach Randy Alcantara. Defense, teamwork, and trust. Those are the three keys to Coach Randy Alcantara's victory. Sabi pa niya, tiwala sa kanyang players ang kanyang pinangahawakan dahil sabi pa niya, sila ang magraran ng show. Coach Randy himself knows what victory feels like as a player dahil 32 years ago, they were the last Cardinals to bag a championship for Mapua. But today, three decades after, now as the head coach, Coach Randy said that he relies on his players to follow the game plan and to use the trust of the whole Mapuan community as their fire to N32 and be the newest champion of the NCAA Season 99. I am claiming that a new legacy will be written today, Anton and Coach Topex. That's one way the story could end that yes, it has been a passionate season and final series for Coach Randy Alcantara who actually had to exit game number one late in the game as he was getting high blood already. Assistant coach Yong Garcia had to step in to finish the game for Coach Randy. Yes, we hope that uh, Coach Randy will be able to really be you know, on top of the situation right now. And obviously, there's the pressure of game three. But looking now at the offense of both teams, Anton has, uh, itong, uh, si Sam is shooting a free throw. Both main guys for this team are really facilitating, not only offensively, defensively also putting up the, the pressure. But what's obvious is they take a shot, they pass the ball. Clint Escamis first time took a shot. He, he kind of orchestrated the play for his teammates. Ganun din man itong si Jacob Cortez. Not only just looking at scoring for himself, but making sure guys like Royo will be given ample support. You know, it's interesting as you say that Coach Topex, Mike Cortez, the dad of Jacob, always gives him bullet points before every game. And I asked Jacob, what was the bullet point that stood out the most? And he said, trust your teammates. And just like that, trusting Cliff Hopia to finish in the paint. That was solid performance coming from Jacob. Amidst the physicality that he's been getting from their guards of Mamapua, he was able to not only look at that basketball, but see a Cliff Hopia open on that end. And Hopia has been incredible in these finals, especially in game number two in the second half, getting those three offensive rebounds. Now, let's try to see what the effect of San Beda winning against Mabua for the first time in game number two was. Hannah Arguelas has the scoop for us. Let's go to her right now. 
Thank you so much, Anton. The Red Lions have finally cracked the Mapua code at nang makausap ko ang main mastermind na si Coach Yuri Escueta patungkol dito ang sabi niya sa akin. It was simply a matter of keeping their confidence despite the losses earlier on in the season and of course, maintaining their composure to execute their plans. Na-mention din ni Coach Yuri ang kanyang veterans and their big contributions in Game 2, lalo na si Clifford Hopia and his rebounding that changed the flow of the game to the Red Lions' favor. Dagdag pa ni Coach na his veterans, how they carry themselves and how they lead the team is one thing that keeps the team locked in. So remember these names, Peter Alvaro, Gabi Kuntapay, Clifford Hopia, and one player Coach Yuri emphasized as an immense hard worker, JB Gallego. Ito, ang, itong, ang inyong mga veterano na sa huling pagkakataon ay maglalaro para sa kanilang karerang pangkolehiyo. Thoughts on this, Anton and Coach Tomex? So it's always special and it's a moment that you will remember for the rest of your life. You know, winning championships will be something that's gonna bond yung uh, pagsasama nitong mga manlalaro. Just sharing with you, the last time I won a championship in the NCAA was 1997. And up to now, you always remember those moments. You know, every time you see those teammates, kahit ilang taon na kayo nag-uusap, it's still gonna be the finals. You know, that's how important and that's how it bonded the team winning a championship. Coach, that was the last of the San Sebastian five beat, right? Yes, sir. With a sensational six, the likes of Rommel Adukol and Brixter Encarnacion. A lot of history. And this man right beside me, Topex Robinson, deeply rooted here in the NCAA. Right now, San Beda leading Mapua 9-4. As we see all of the tweets again, join us in our conversation. Use the hashtag NCAA Finals Game 3. Tag GMA Sports PH and NCAA Philippines as well. Shout out to everybody na nakatutok ngayon, wherever it is you're watching, live on GMA, GTV, or all over social media. This is going to be a solid, solid game, especially in the start of the Four minutes pa lang tayo dito. But you see a lot of energy, you know, a lot of really guys being enthusiastic about the situation and not minding the crowd. As much as tayo right now, we cannot even hear each other, but these guys are really locked in. Game number two, there was a crowd of 22,465 at the Mall of Asia Arena. And later on, you will get the numbers for this mammoth crowd in front of us right now. Mapua runs out of time as it has been a difficult start, a struggle for the Cardinals here in Game 3. One of the good things that San Beda is doing right now at the start of the ball game, they're making sure that when they were able to corral itong si Clint Escamis. There's the first few possessions na nakita natin na nag-defensa ng maayos. Eh, maganda yung ginagawa. Pero, dito naman sa kapinang panic, Jacob Cortez not only looking to score time and time again, looking for his open teammates. Jacob Cortez with two assists already, and the MVP responds with a three. Clint Escam is stoic in his expression. He is on today. We have a timeout. Sanpera is on top by four. A mammoth crowd here at the Mecca of Philippine sports, the Aranata Coliseum, for the biggest game <laughs> of the year. Game number three of the NCAA Season 99 Finals between San Beda and Mapua. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Anton Rojas working alongside Coach Topex Robinson. And of course, at courtside, we've got Lexi Gonzalez and Hannah Arguelles reporting for Mapua and San Beda, respectively.
Cortez being defended by Rosinho. Cortez outed. Cortez forces a three. That's a good stop for Mapua. Ball in the Escamis. Escamis inside pass. Soriano was not ready. That's a turnover. You know, there's a reason why itong si Clint Escamis was kind of frustrated on that play. Not because Soriano was, was able to commit a turnover, but he was the one who passes the ball to Soriano. At hindi pa ready itong si uh, Soriano, kaya naman si Clint, you know, the veteran that he is, you know, talked about how to adjust. But talking about now the picks for this game, para sa kuponan naman ni Coach Yuri Escueta, turn garbage into cold. We've talked about the turnovers of uh, Mapua during game two. Ito yung capitalize. They, that's where they capitalize on because they really scored a lot on those uh, turnovers coming from uh, Mapua. And with that, run, Lions, run. We've talked about this, Anton, that we know that San Beda is really a well-known for their half-court offense. Pero dito sa game two, medyo tinakbuhan nila ng konti. Medyo sinurprise nila because they want to make sure bago makapag-set up ng depensa itong San Beda or itong Mapua ay makakapag makakakaroon sila ng chance to score. Both found the paint. Game 3, you want to go high percentage. And as you notice, the first few possessions pa lang, especially para sa kukunan itong San Beda, all of those scoring are coming from the paint. Coach Topex, you mentioned run, Lions run. It's kind of like a throwback to the Frankie Lim years that you were coaching against because those San Beda teams love to run, but very different this version of Coach Yuri Escueta because they're actually dead last in fast break points, only averaging six per game. Pero yun nga, sa game number two, they have 13 fast break points. That just shows how deep-rooted itong coaching staff nitong San Beda is, uh, Anton, because at this point kasi you have to really make sure that you're gonna throw in things na hindi pa nakikita ng Mapua and it worked wonders for them because now they adjusted itong Mapua. They adjusted yung kanilang rotation as you look at coach, you know, Chito Victorero. Talking about veterans coming from San Be I mean Mapua, Chito Victorero is one of them. And of course, the cool cat Mike Cortez, as always, in attendance, supporting his son, Jacob. Oh, Hopia with the rejection! But Soriano managing to find a way to put it up, but Hopia bothered him enough. James Payosik off the bench for just the second time this season. One of the most hard-working players on this Sun Bella roster. And James Payosik is impervious to pressure. Talking about adjustments, Anton, James Payosik will give you extra energy or oxygen pagkatapos ng first quarter or first quarter ng ng game saktong sakto yung pasok niya in the fourth minute mark he's gonna give you the energy that, that San Beda needs at this juncture the 6 foot 2 20 year old sophomore from Davao de Oro but grew up in Surigao del Sur former San Beda Red Club as well James Payosi making his entry here in game number 3 and making his entry as well, playing Alex Viser as the co-captain alongside Peter Alfaro here in Season 99. San Beda, biggest lead of the game for them at 7. Cross court pass, Hernandez, one dribble pull up. Hernandez overshoots that one. Rosillo, offensive rebound. And the shots hard to come by for Mabua. Running down the floor, Andrada blows the layup. of the game. Bonifacio will he come alive for Mapua. Bola na Hernandez. Hernandez off the glass and then Paulo Hernandez. Paulo Hernandez finally, you know, nailing that one for Mapua. You'll notice on those defense after the timeout that San Beda off into those zone. Kaya naman nagkaroon ng, uh, yes, they might have missed a shot it on Mapua, but the extra possession that they get, you know, is really going to be crucial for Mapua right now. AJ Royal, no look pass! The reserve point guard turning into a starter here in the finals, making his presence felt. And shout out to everybody who are tweeting right now. Keep it coming. Bucky guys on social media, the beat the hashtag NCAA season 99. And hashtag NCAA finals game three. Estamos 
the number one player when it comes to steals. He gets his first one here in game three. But a counter steal by Payosi. Two on one pass break. James against Clint. That's a foul on the MVP. Clint Escamis, first rookie MVP since Renz Abando, first MVP point guard in the NCAA since Scotty Thompson back in NCAA season 90, 2014, and first Mapua guard to win MVP since Phil Canadian Kelvin De La Pena back in season 83, 2007. Another entry. Eman Tagle, also a Sun Beta University Red Cub. And these Red Cubs, grabbing history. 23 NCAA Juniors Basketball Championships. Karamihan ng mga Red Cubs, umaabante, elevated to the Sun Beta Red Lions program. That just shows how deep kumbaga, yung preparation ng Sun Beta Red Lions for the longest time, you know, being at the helm of college basketball. So juniors, 23 titles. So seniors, 22 championships. The winningest basketball program in the country. Two minutes and 54 seconds remaining here in the first period. And Coach Randy Alcantara calls for the Magbabalik po ang Game 3 ng NCAA Season 99 Finals. Game number three, the final game, the last chapter in this epic story of seeing only fitting that we are here at the Mecca of Philippine Sports, the Araneta Coliseum. Mabuhay Pilipinas at maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. A finals rematch, 32 years in the making. And Mapuans and Bedans from different eras here today to celebrate what could be another exciting chapter written and etched in the history books. Paulo Hernandez once scored 33 points in a game three when he won the championship for Mapua back in season 94. 33 points coach in a title clinching game. You know, talking about it, si Paulo Hernandez, Anton, it's, it, it cannot just be a Clint Escamas show for this uh, game three. You need the support. But because you know now, Clint, knowing that he cannot carry all the load, is getting guys ready or available. Same goes with Jacob Cortez. Not only looking to score, but looking for those able bodies that are willing to contribute in their own little way. Papua switching to a zone. Escamis with the rebound. The MVP is running. Escamis to Soriano. Soriano draws a foul. Just like the first time, Anton, itong si Soriano turned the ball over off of that pass. But again, the leader that Escamis is, he will not hesitate to give you another opportunity, which turned out now to be a foul. That's why Soriano is about to shoot two free throws. So Coach Randy Alcantara, his fourth season as the head coach 
of his beloved alma mater, Mapua. Second time he has led them to the finals and he is hoping that they get the job done this time around. Obviously, the experience of playing in the finals is going to be one of the key factors uh, this uh, Mapua Cardinals has come into this ball game. And I'm sure if may a story of si Coach Randy, they will talk about the last season that, or the, the previous season that they played in the finals. Mapua forces a turnover but unable to get it to the point guard. New possession for San Beda. And Mapua continues to utilize that 2-3 zone. Payosi, Tibira, mula sa labas. Soriano, natapik patas. Napulot ni Gonzalez. Nigel Gonzalez, the rookie! The former star player of Mapua High School, now in a San Beda uniform, scores his first field goal here in Game 3. So far, the 50-50 balls are being won by San Beda, making sure that any opportunity that they have to get those SO possessions, San Beda will score on that. Warren Bonifacio. Papua desperately needs their captain to come alive here in game number three. First few minutes of the first quarter, Anton, it was Clint Escamis. Now, Warren Bonifacio is the one taking care of the scoring puddles for Mapua. And there he is, back-to-back -back baskets for Warren Bonifacio playing in his final game in what has been a long career in the NCAA, 10 years to be exact. From the high school level to the collegiate level, Warren Bonifacio has given his all for Mapua, winning their first ever championship in the juniors division and wanting to graduate as a champion. Bonifacio making sure that he will keep that flame alive for the Mapua Cardinals, bringing in the championship experience. You'll notice he's so calm and collected. Kahit nagkakaroon ng run sa itong San Beda, he makes sure to get everybody in check and grounded. Bonifacio entered Mapua in the year 2013. This is his 10th year anniversary. Kuntapay is in the game and Gabi Kuntapay puts his name. One of the few things that worked for Sambeda on Game 1 or Game 2 is the contribution of everybody. Game 1, it was Jacob Cortez who really did everything sa kanyang likod. But now, ang gandang tingnan itong Sambeda, not only working together offensively, but also making sure that they're going to work together defensively. Takle with a jumper in and out. Tapi ka ng bola, mapupunta kay Cuenco. Binigay dito kay Dalisay. Dalisay on the attack. Nabitawan ng bola. At mapupulot ni Dami Kuntapay in San Vera Basketball. The turnovers of Mapua really giving them a lot of problems right now because San Vera has more possessions because of those turnovers. Rare are the times na hindi nakaka-atake itong San Vera. Mapua has turned the ball over six times in this game. And San Vera scored seven points off turnovers as Nigel Gonzalez Gives San Beda its biggest lead of the game. And Coach Randy Alcantara rings the alarm as San Beda is now on top by nine, their biggest lead of the game. That's the end of the first quarter. We'll be back for quarter number two here in game.
the Betans are hoping to celebrate a 23rd championship as we see Nigel Gonzalez, believe it or not, in all of the games that Sanbed has played against Papua this season, he has not scored a field goal. And these two field goals right here, coach, coming at the most opportune time. Obviously, Nigel Gonzalez giving the extra padded support. You know, Jacob Cortez was on the bench resting while the rest of the Sanbed, the Red Lions, contributing offensively. How big it is, Anton. It's huge in a game three. As much as itong Mapua right now needs support, not only Scamis, not only Hernandez, but as much as possible, everybody contributing. Now, if you're a Sun Beta fan watching right now, you will feel good about this first quarter because Sun Beta is 9 and 2 this season with leading at the end of the first period. That's going to be solid numbers for you, but you know, I have to disagree. Pagdating ng finals or game three, you have to throw everything out of the, out of the table. And it's going to be who is the hungrier team. And I'm looking at the floor right now and I see a very unusual lineup for Coach Randy Alcantara. I have not seen this combination all season long. You have Jopet Soriano and Resti Fornis, a former Beda, Upon played for San Beda in season 97 on July the court for the first time together. At this point, Anton, you want to make sure as early as now, you have to shuffle your lineup and look for the best combination available. Not a legitimate attempt to play the ball. The free throws for Warren Bonifacio. Now we were just talking to our officials as to why Warren Bonifacio is shooting these free throws to begin the second period. David Guntapay with unnecessary contact to end the first period, Coach Topex. Yes, the referees were telling us nga that they're going to be on top of the situation. So yung mga ganun bagay na usually pwede mong palampasin eh. I mean, because of the physicality, but not in a game three. But yun na nga, nawala yung advantage or yung bonus na yun because Warren Bonifacio both miss those free throws. Warren Bonifacio, shockingly, Coach Topex, is Mapua's best free throw shooter 82% for the season, he missed both in this deciding game three. That's going to be crucial for Mapua, especially now that you're trailing by nine points. Every basket matters for Mapua. And you have a very well-rested Jacob Cortez returning to the game. He played a little under seven minutes, three points in the first period, but the big thing, three assists, Coach Topex. That's going to be huge for you because, again, you want to spread and share that wealth especially in this kind of games. Cyrus Cuenco, can he come alive for Mapua? He's been their X-Factor all season long. The sophomore from San Fernando, Pampanga. But he fouls Cortez. Coach Yuri going with this three-point guard lineup that he started with as we see Cuenco's drive here. It's Gonzalez, Cortez, and Tacle on the floor at the same time. Gonzalez, binigay kay Tacle. Tacle on the attack. That's a good stop for the Cardinals. Soriano bothered him enough. Escamis accelerates. Escamis unable to finish at the rim. And Soriano trying to turn garbage into gold. As he grabs that offensive rebound and draws a foul. As much as Iskamis is missing those layups, amidst those defense, Anton, you'd rather have him attacking the basket and giving an opportunity for an offensive rebound, especially if you have a Soriano as your uh, forward forward. You know, the conversation today for San Beda revolves around the number 23. And to give us more about that, here's Hannah Arguelles. Thank you so much, Anton. As you said, it seems we have a bit of a theme going on with the number 23, especially in the side of the Red Lion. So allow me to add on to that using the numbers two and three. Jacob Cortez and Jumel Puno, two players unable to practice for three days due to an intense fall and an awkward landing in the second game, specifically the third quarter. At nang makausap ko si Jacob Cortez matungkol dito, ang cool na sagot ng cool cup ay, I don't feel na kulangan ako sa practice. I just took time to recover my body. I expected the physicality. At nagdag pa ng King Lion, he feels no pressure in today's game. Rather, he feels locked in and excited to play with the player donning jersey number two and a power. 
powerhouse trio consisting of Jamel Uno, Yuki and Andrada, and James Payosing backing him up. This may be the 23rd championship for the mighty Red School of Mendiola. What can you say about this combo, Anton and Coach Topex? Well, it's very formidable, and I will add to that, it's also the 23rd game for San Beda this season, and it's also the year 2023. You know, at this point, Antonio, always look for those kind of stories, trying to back up the hype of this ball game. Meanwhile, former Betan Resti for this, wearing the jersey number 91, the two numbers that you dial when you need an emergency or are in an emergency. They just answered your question why he is inside the ball game to provide those extra energy. Talking about 91, that's bucket for you. Wow! Nigel Gonzalez, his third field goal of the game, second triple, a rookie, coming up big here in game number three. And a foul away for the ball as Cuenco made his journey to the basket. Resty Fornis. Siyempre ang idol niya, Dennis Rodman with that 91 jersey and Nigel Gonzalez, the former Mapuan star in high school doing damage as a bedad here in college. And another turnover for the Cardinals. Jomel Puno, the Phil Canadian rookie in the finals. Sets up the screen for Jacob Cortez. Cortez back to Jomel. Jomel. Nowhere to go. Birigay Tagle. Tagle to Jomel from the elbow. Oh, it's a battle for the rebound. And it looks like it's going to be another foul on Kuntapay. Going back to one of your keys to victory, Coach Topex for Mapua. Value every possession. So, so important in this game three. That's going to be crucial for you if you're not only Mapua, but also for Sanded, Anton, because, again, the, the intention, the energy that you have to put in every possession. Ay mong balikan kasi yung moment na sayang. Because just because of those valuing every possession is 50-50 balls is going to be crucial for both of these teams. If the number 23 is so significant for San Beda, para naman sa Mapua, it's all about ending 32 at 23. To tell us more about that, here's Lexi Gonzalez. In the previous game of Engineers versus Lawyers, we witnessed the game, the case, be closed by San Beda because the math of Mapua was miscalculated during the fourth quarter. Kaya nang makausap ko ang Hakot Award at Semi's MVP na si Clint Escamis, inamin niya na naging kumpiyansa raw sila. He also said that the overconfidence took a backfire. That's why this time, with his dream of going down in history as a legend for Mapua, Clint said, mag-cramps na ako, mag-cramps. Basta hindi ko napipigilan ang sarili ko. Sabi nga niya, this is an all-out war, Anton and Coach Topex. Diba? Pwede namang balik na rin ng Mapua yung 23 eh. Magiging N32 nila ito. You know, once upon a time, Lexi, Coach Topex, San Pedro had a N28 at 82 theme. A guy sitting beside us right now, Coach Hammer Martin Antonio, was part of that team. And Coach Alex Angeles as well, assistant coach. He was the team captain of that squad. There's so much stories behind those numbers, Anton. You know, th this is what you get for always being uh, having an opportunity to play in the finals. A lot of stories will be made. That's why we're both excited. Ano naman palang storya ang mangyayari after this game? I'll tell you another story. It's Nigel Gonzalez's birthday today. It's wow. his birthday. Or rather, excuse me, Peter Alfaro's birthday today, the team captain para sa San Beda, his 25th birthday playing in his final game. So Nigel dedicating this to him, fellow point guard, his veteran. to 23, 6 minutes and 32 seconds to go here in the first half. Gonzalez playing extended minutes. Binigay dito by Cortez. Cortez 
short on the three. JC Recto with the rebound. Another rookie in the finals, Peter Rosilio. Rosilio drops it off to Bonifacio. And that's three in the key for Mapua. Mapua already committing nine turnovers, and that is shocking considering the fact that Mapua is the best team in the league with regards to taking care of the basketball. Well, you also have to give credit, Anton, to the defense that, that Sambeda has been putting up. A lot of activities, a lot of active hands, not giving up on any possession for, for Sambeda. That's why ito may na, uh, Mapua has been really struggling in their half-court execution. Now, Coach Randy Alcantara calls a timeout for the NCAA Season 99 Finals. Once again, we are greeting you from the Araneta Coliseum as uh, San Bera leads Mapua 29 to 23 here in game number three. This is the second quarter of what has been a highly physical and entertaining game so far. Marami salamat sa inyo pananood. Anton Ross on the call alongside Coach Topex Robinson. How different is it being here as a commentator <laughs> Coach, I mean, you just won a game three as a coach. Actually, I was talking to you, and, and, and as, we, as we see now, I mean, one of the fans or, or the players that are really watching and coming in this game. But that's the son of Coach Young Garcia, Wacky Garcia. As we see Jomel Puno score on the drive. Wacky Garcia, unfortunately, not suited up this season due to injury as we see Escamis launch a difficult three. Puno whips it up ahead to Jacob Cortez. Cortez with a Pinoy step. No foul call. Cardinals are running. Escamis to Recto. Recto steps back for a three. JC Recto with a big time triple. That was wasted opportunity for San Beda. Just when you thought Anton that you know, Jacob will be easily making that layup he missed due to the good defense also of Clint Escamis not giving up on the basketball. Here's that move by Jomel Puno, a rookie here in the finals, and then JC Recto stepping back and knocking down a triple. Recto, a 30.8% three-point shooter. And there appears to be an incident involving Jacob Cortez getting hit. And the referees are reviewing the situation right now. And again, shout out sa lahat ng mga nanunod ngayon. We are sharing your comments online. Maraming salamat. A shout out to everybody who are tuned in right now. Now, even the fans, Coach Topex, know the storyline. 32 <laughs> years for Mapua. That's how deep 
you know, the history of Mapua is as far as winning a championship. At, if you are Mapua right now, if you're the current team, would it be, you know, so memorable kung ikaw ang makakapag-end ng 32-year drought? It's something that they will remember for the rest of their lives. At Coach Topex, yun na lang ang kulang eh sa coaching resume ni Coach Randy Alcantara. He's won a championship as a player, won a championship as a juniors coach. Ito na lang collegiate division ang kulang para sa kanya. You know, I mean, his, his time will come. I mean, if it, if destiny calls that he's going to win this game, no matter what, it's going to be given to, to him. But also giving credit to his players. The buy-in is so important for you if you're Mapua. So they also reviewed that triple by JC Recto. At kitang-kita naman sa replay, malinaw na malinaw. It was a three for Recto. You know what's good about this uh, officiating right now? Wala silang pinapalagpas na situation or moment na they wouldn't be able to correct. Cortez gets the ball to Andrada. Si Rosilio nakatao dito kay Jacob. Royo all day to shoot. AJ Royo misfires. And Rosilio comes up with a board. Rosilio, umarangkada. Rosilio! Can he come alive? He was a huge difference maker in game number one, guarding Jacob Cortez, now getting involved on the fast break. You have to love the guts nitong si Rosilio, knowing that it was a three-in-one opportunity, you know, making sure that he decides to attack the basket. By all means, he's gonna finish it. And here he is, Peter Rosilio, 15 points, seven rebounds and two assists and two steals in game number one, was quiet in game number two, but here in game three, he has to go all out. Cortez looking for a friend. And that's a five second violation, Coach Topex. That was a good adjustment coming from the defense of Mapua, knowing that they're going to take away those first, uh, the first opportunity there. Kaya naman nung huli na eh, nahirapan na rin si Jacob Cortez to inbound that basketball. Good defense coming from Mapua this time. Mapua has not led in this game. San Benes' lead was as high as nine, and now they are down by just three. Bonifacio on the move. Why Bonifacio still can't finish? Bola mapupunta kay Jomel Puno. Here comes AJ Royo. The birthday boy, Peter Alfaro, missing from the corner, and that's a rebound for Recto. Rosilio, attacke. Rosilio, getting creative in the air, finishing with the left hand. You know what's good about this uh, offense coming from Mapua? As soon as they make a stop, they don't just walk with the basketball. They're trying to look for opportunities twice already. Rosilio, even that they don't have the numbers, he was aggressive just in attacking the basket. Oh, what a move by the King Lion, Jacob Cortez. Moving through the defense. And finds a way to score. As Yam is trying to respond. No go. Jomel Puno with the board. Puno, tumatakbo. Puno, in attacking and defensa. No good. Papalika bola kay Escames. Here comes the MVP. Escames, short. Rebound, Alfaro. Royo. Cross court pass. Jomel Puno, pinigay dito kay Andrada. Andrada, another cross court pass. Alfaro. Changes his mind, drives, and is fouled by Bonifacio. What a move right here by Peter Rosilio, the 19-year-old 5'8 rookie from Surigao City, Surigao del Norte. And the response from the King Lion, Jacob Cortez. Antonio, just got to love the energy that these players are putting in. Clint Escamis, the moment Jacob Cortez made the basket, tried to making sure that he's going to have his own chance. But you also have the love the backup, Rosilio against Royo for this game. For either team to win this game three, coach, it can't boil down to just one person. It has to be a team effort in this deciding game three. Well, I'm just a fan enjoying this ball game. You know, what could you? I mean, what more could you ask for? You know, just being a witness to college basketball right now being played at the highest level. Same, and we hope everybody watching right now is having a blast in this final game in the collegiate basketball season for the year 2023. Hernandez missing on the drive. Gonzalez. 
on the move. Brings the ball back out. Extended minutes for the rookie point guard, Puno. With all the time in the world to decide to shoot that three. Get the bird, Recto on the move. Stolen away by Alfaro. Cortez with that signature spin to his left. And Jackknife pass. That time his teammate was not ready. Sun better still on top by five as we take a break. Huling laro dito sa NCAA Season 99, game number 3. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood at Don Rojas kasama si Coach Tupex Robinson nagbabalik sa kanyang tahanan dahil dito nagsimula ang kanyang basketball career bilang player ng San Sebastian. Alam mo Anton, napakasarap sa pakiramdam na ngayong panahon na ito naman eh, ikaw eh nagiging witness sa ganitong klaseng laro. Kagaya ng sinasabi natin kanina during the time out, Kung sino yung team na mas magiging kalmado, will have a better chance. Kasi nga naman, yung energy kahit tayo dito, hindi tayo mapakali. What more yung mga naglalaro sa loob ng mga malalaro ng both Mapua and uh, San Beda. So yung energy na yun. But looking at the numbers nitong si Jacob Cortez, Anton, pwede nating sabihin 7 points lang. Pero isipin natin how he gets everybody involved sa kanilang offense. Jacob Cortez... 21 points sa kanilang huling laro, game number 2. He only had 7 in game number 1. Kaya up and down para sa kanya. Pero limang assist, yun ang malaking bagay. Ang makalaking bagay din itong press football mula kay JC Recto. Kanina pa natin pinag-uusapan, sino bang tutulong dito kay Clint Escamis? Kanina nakita natin si Rosilio at ngayon naman itong si Recto ay napapakitang gilas para kay Coach Gandhi at Panda. JC Recto, third in his first double-double in game number two, 14 points and 15 rebounds. Not bad for a rookie, and speaking of a rookie, Jomel Kuno sliding through. Medyo napan napanakas lang yung kanyang uh, short stab. Balikan natin itong atake, Escamis, binigay kay Recto, Recto. Pulling up, biglaan yun. Alam mo, Anton, kung bakit napaka-importante yung 3 na nilirekto. As, as you notice, sa depensa na binibigay ng San Beda, ang uh, iniisip nila, debali ng kahit sinong makascore, wag lang ang kanilang season MVP because ang daming binibigay na energy nitong si Clint Escanis. And smart enough, itong si Clint, hinahanap niya yung kanyang mga teammates na open. Clint Escanis, number one score in the NCAA, averaging 16.5 points per game sa ngayon. Meron ng 10 puntos. Si Escam is the only player in double digits so far. Pero, takto na lang ang lamang ng San Beda. 36-33. Fernandez. Aatake. Paulo. Masyadong malakas. Soriano rebound. Puno with the erasure. Second block of the game for Jonel Puno. Cortez. Throws it out, Puno, binigay kay Andrada, Hatcher, shoot! And a rebound by JC Recto. Escamis, 
His team down by three. Escamis on the move. Escamis too strong. Andrada with the rebound. Alvaro racing ahead of the back. Puno with the putback. No! Balik ang bola sa Mapua. Recto gives it to the MVP. Escamis back to JC. Rosilio drives. Rosilio with the finish. Mapua down by just one. What a smart move coming from the players itong si Coach Randy Alcantara. Pinag-uusapan natin yung kalma lang. Nakita natin si Recto, may opportunity siyang umatake sa basket, but he decided na hawakan ko muna yung bola. At tingnan, ang best opportunity para makiscore ang ating mga teammates. Cortez missing on the three. And Mabua with a chance to take their first lead of the game bago matapos. Ang first half, dito sa game number three, bola na kay Escamis. The rookie MVP makes his move. Escamis draws a foul. Oh! Referee Aaron Caliente said it was a foul, but referee J.R. Torres, national referee, says it was an offensive foul. You be the judge. Alfaro was there pretty early though, Coach Topes. Yeah, I think from the view natin dito, nakita natin, na-anticipate nitong si Peter Alfaro yung atake ni Clint Escamis. Kaya naman in-establish niya yung kanyang position and just waited for Escamis na dumating sa kanya. Good defense and good read coming from Peter Alfaro. That's just the veteran leadership and experience of the 25-year-old team captain from Zamboanga City, Peter Alfaro, who also started his career as a San Pedro Red Cup. Missed opportunity there for Mapua, Coach Topex. Sayang yung opportunity, but you have to give credit to the defense of the mga manlalaro ni Coach Yuri Speta. Payosi, want to shoot. Payosi at the buzzer, just unable to convert. But if you're Mapua, you have to feel good about being able to fight back from training by nine, coach. What a way to end the second quarter or end the half para sa Mapuna ng Mapua Cardinals. Just when you thought na makakapull over na itong mga manlalaro ni Coach Yuri Escueta, ayaw sumuko ng Mapua. At isa na lang ang lamang ng San Beda. 36 para sa Red Lions, 35 para sa Cardinals dito sa Game 3 ng NCAA Season 99 Men's Basketball Finals.
welcome back at the halftime break of game three of the NCAA season 99 men's basketball finals. Let's give a warm NCAA welcome to GMA Sparkle Ornis, Thea Astley and Anthony Rosado together with the PhD dancers. What they I am playing. No, the hero in me is staying. Spreading my wings and flying high. Yet I'm so grounded. Down to the earth, yet yeah, high in the heavens. It's a high set up to heavens. My head in the game, you remember my name. I'm so ready, I'm so ready. Look at me now, I'm flying so high. I can see the whole world. Look at me now, I'm ready for victory. It's my time, my turn. Hero, oh, oh, we're gonna rise for the season, yeah. Hero, oh, oh. Binuksan ang programa para sa NCAA Season 99 Swimming Competition nitong December 13 na ginanap sa Rizal Memorial Sports Complex. Host ng competition ang Emilio Aguinaldo College. You know, this is just a three-day competition but I'll tell you, the swimmers have been preparing for this competition year-round. Special guest speaker ang former Olympic swimmer and sea gold medalist, Mrs. Christine Jacob Sandejas. Itinanghal na overall champion sa juniors division ang De La Salle College sa St. Benil. It was very tight competition, as you know, kasi makikita naman sa points, no? And uh, talagang, nag I'm so proud of my, my boys. Kumakot naman ng awards ang pambato nilang si Lance Rafael Cruz. Sobrang sulap talaga yung feeling um, knowing that I train with these people every day. Tapos nanalo ba kami ng championship tsaka naka, 
Like five awards ako, sobrang sarap talaga. Like all the hard work paid off. Dominado naman ng San Beda University ang parehong women's at men's division. Very unexpected kasi yung goal ko lang is ma-break ko yung personal best ko. Magawa ko yung best ko para ma-proud yung coach ko. Pero more than pa yung binigay ng Diyos sa akin. Ginawaran bilang most valuable players sa kanika nilang division ang parehong bedan na sina Angeline Docabo at Jake Evangelista. Pangarap ko talaga na mag... Um, Mag-break ng record, kahit tatlong events, I'm thankful kasi nakakot ko lahat ng award, unexpectedly. Hard work, syempre instilled din namin doon yung mga tulo ng coaches, the discipline. Of course, no other word can describe it but incredible. Coach of the Year naman ang mentor nilang si Govino Rojas. Wala naman sikreto, it's pure hard work and dedication on part of, uh, of the swimmers. Women competition. Ako po si Christine San Agustin. Kita kits next season. University, and this is a tradition for pedants from different eras, Coach Topex. I've been in the NCA for the longest time, Anton, and I've always been a fan of this halftime show coming from these kids because they just put in so much. Maga, ito yung walang malisha na cheer. They just love it because they love doing it. Gusto ng gusto nilang irepresent yung kadalang school. Chaka, Coach, pung kwersa na to, grade school, high school, at College students doing the Indian yell and keeping the tradition alive. That should uh, that's how basketball should be keeping the tradition alive. Pinagusapa natin yung history netong San Beda University and they just want to keep it alive para sa kopanan ni Coach Yuri Squeta. And that's what it's all about. San Beda looking to capture their 23rd NCAA men's basketball crown. Of course, Mapua looking to win their sixth NCAA men's basketball title and first in 32 years. Mga kapuso, maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Anton Ross, alongside, of course, Coach Topex Robinson. And Coach Topex, we would also like to thank lahat ng mga kapuso natin, taga-support ng NCAA, for giving us all the support throughout the years and especially sa Season 98 nakatanggap po tayo ng Anak TV Award for our show Game On which you were also a part of Coach Topex we broke down the start of the NCAA season last year and of course awards also from the Catholic Mass Media Awards for our theme song and of course NCAA season 98 the entire coverage from the entire GMA team maraming maraming salamat po maraming maraming salamat Anton at doon nare-recognize yung sinasabi nga ni Martin You know, ibig sabihin naging mabait tayo because we were able to to be recognized for such an award. So, maraming maraming salamat po. And of course, maraming salamat puli sa parangal mula sa Anak TV at sa Catholic Mass Media Awards. All right, let's get back to the game, Coach Topex, and break down the first half 
And we go back to your keys to victory. Ang malaking bagay dito, Coach, yung value every possession. Yes, as we look at the halftime statistics, Anton, may kita natin yung bench production is gonna be crucial. Sino pa yung mga manlalaro na yun for San Beda? Unang-una, Nigel Gonzalez came out with guns blazing. Napakalaking contribution yung binigay niya para sa Kupana ng San Beda. Turnovers is gonna be key para dito sa Kupana ng Mapua because they already had 11 turnovers. And San Beda was able to convert 12 turnover points. Kaya naman napakalaking bagay ito para sa Kupana ng Mapua. And I'm sure, Anton, isa ito sa mga bagay na tinatalakay ngayon sa bench ng Mapua. Speaking of the bench coach, 20 bench points for San Beda. They're actually dead last in the NCAA when it comes to bench points, only averaging 24.7 bench points per game. So, yung mga hindi ginagawa ng San Beda during the elimination round, biglang nagkaroon ng effect dito sa finals, lalo na sa takbuhan ng fast break points, and of course, the production from the bench. Itong nagagawa ng isang linggong pagitan between in between games Anton kasi pwede kami dito mag trial and error during practice eh pwede mong gawin yung uh, kombinasyon na to gagaya ng ginawa ng coach Yuri Squeta sinabi natin bakit ganito yung starter lalo na yung mga lumabas sa bench Nigel Gonzalez ilang beses natin pinag-uusapan because prior to this game Anton he was a bit struggling at the start of the season para sa kupanan ng San Beda University but slowly but surely nagbibigay siya ng contribution at kailan pa nga naman mas magiging importante yon dito lamang sa ating Game 3. Yun ang hindi inasahan ng Mapua na gagawa ng 10 puntos ang isang rookie na nanggaling pa sa kanilang high school basketball program. He played under assistant coach Yong Garcia in high school early this year and now he is part of the opponent here in game number 3. Nakikita po natin 10 points para kay Nigel at 10 puntos naman para sa rookie MVP. If you're gonna look at the stats rating ngayon and as we look at the leading scorers, ang laking bagay yung contribution nitong si Nigel Gonzalez. Sinasabi natin kanina, Jacob Cortez, 5 points? Bakit? That's because he's also facilitating the offense for the San Beda Red Lions. Same thing as what he did during Game 2. Alam niya kasi na siya ang magiging focal point ng depensa nitong Mapua. Kaya naman, it's time for him to share that basketball. Para naman sa kapunan ng Mapua, Clint Escamis, given na yan, Anton, magbibigay sa iyo ng, pro ng uh, production, but pinag-uusapan din natin yung backup. So far, itong si Recto has 6, Rosilio has 6, and we haven't really seen Hernandez contributing a lot. Itong si Warren Bonifacio should be expected for sure dito sa third quarter para sa kapunan ni Coach Randy Alcantara. Paulo Hernandez, you mentioned his name, his first start since November 3 and just his sixth start for Mapua this season. Napakalaking adjustment, pero yun nga, hindi pa masyado naging factor si Paulo. Just four points, three rebounds, and one assist. We go back to your top picks, Coach Topex. And there are two checks in this list. We cannot put in the finishing strong yet because we just started the third quarter, Anton. But valuing every possession, medyo questionable during the start of the ball game because they committed a lot of turnovers sa simula. They had 11 already at this ball game, but they were able to be in control of their emotions. The latter part, kaya naman humabol sila dito. Pound the paint, a lot of opportunity, especially for Resilio to just shoot it from the outside but decided to attack the basket. So a few times na naka-score itong si Warren Bonifacio, Anton, it was all in the paint. You mentioned value, every possession, best in the league at taking care of the basketball. 13.3 turnovers per game, but they already have 11 here in the first half of Game 3. Para naman kay Coach Yuri Escueta, it's all checks in this three list in this three-part list of yours. Check na check para sa kuponan ng San Beda because turning garbage into gold, defensively, they, they locked in. They forced Mapua to 11 turnovers, Anton. At ang maganda dito, nakascore sila ng 12 points coming from those turnovers. Run, Lions, run. Dahil sa maganda nilang depensa, they were able to facilitate that transition. Sabi nga natin, may dalawa pang uh, na-blotch na layup or transition points itong San Beda. But you will see how aggressive they are pushing that basketball. Points in the paint, those transitions are majority are layups. Which is good if you're San Beda University. San Beda leading the points in the paint battle 18 to 16. Pero ang pinakamalaking bagay dito, the biggest difference, points off turnovers, 12 for the Red Lions, just 3 for Mapua. 
So once again, maraming salamat mga kapuso sa inyong panonood. This is the final game for the collegiate basketball season for the year 2023. And what an eventful and blessed year it has been. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Anton Ross on the call alongside Coach Topex Robinson. And of course, at courtside to complete our broadcast team today, Lexi Gonzalez reporting for Mapua and Hannah Arguelles for San Beda University. Ang inaabangan na lang natin dito is yung ending, Coach. We can't predict the ending, but whatever happens, it's going to be emotional for every player and every Mapuan and Bedan involved in this game. It's gonna be crucial. Kaya nga naman sinabi natin kanina, just when we thought na naka-pull out na or pull over na itong uh, San Beda slowly, itong Copa na ng uh, Mapua close their inch win. Why? Because of Recto and Rosilio. Rosilio trying to give Mapua their first lead of the game misses on that triple try. Recto, siya naman ang susubok. Pinigay kay Escabes. And Escabes, so rookie MVP! Like a hero coming through. When they need him the most, gives Mapua their first lead here in Game 3. What's good about that offense, Anton? Hindi nang galing kay Clint Escabes yung bola coming from that offense. But, eto naman ang problema ngayon for Mapua. Because Yutian Andrada made that first three of the ball game for him. The third year player, Yutian Andrada, knocking down his first triple here in game three. Jump it, Soriano, off of a pass by Escamis. Ito yung sinasabi natin kanina during the halftime. Maraming adjustments na makikita at pansin na kaagad natin right now ang ganda ng spacing ng koponan ni Coach Randy Alcantara. Cortez missing on that contested shot. Bola na kay Escamis. Dinedepensa ni Alfaro. Escamis, bounce pass para kay Recto. Recto, looking inside, naagaw ni Hopia. Bola na kay Jacob Cortez. Third year point guard. And King Lion, binigay dito kay AJ Royo for three! From the corner! Gives the lead back to San Beda. We've seen this kind of move coming in the first quarter for San Beda. Jacob Cortez, five points, but so far really contributing a lot to the assist department. Already with six assists, Anton. And that's over his average of a little over three assists per contest. Balikan natin itong atake ni Recto, giving it to the rookie MVP, Clint Escamis. But of course, the response mula kay Yukien Andrada giving the lead back to San Beda. Four lead changes, all happening here in the third period. And you are seeing the sequence of events that led to those four lead changes. Ngayon, nakaka-problema mula sa free throw line ang Mapua. Five out of 12 from the charity stripe. Ito yung isang bagay na pinag-uusapan natin kanina, valuing every possession. Kasama po ang free throws sa ating pag-uusapan. Because right now, itong Mapua is only trailing by one point. Soriano hit Alfaro on the side of the head. And this is not the time to have that kind of lapse. You gotta keep your head in the game. I saw it from where we were sitting, Coach Topex. As Soriano went down, he swung his elbow and right forearm downwards at natamaan si Peter Alfaro. But as of the moment, let's go to Lexi Gonzalez who has this courtside report on the Mapua side. The Mapua Cardinals were able to face the first half head on, but siyempre, they had a lot of imperfect, imperfections too, and for the coaches, they could do better. That's why the coaches had a lot of rem reminders, sabi ni Coach Randy Alcantara. Huwag na tayong three points ng three points. Diba dapat natuto na tayo sa game two, dagdag pa niya, magbigayan tayo, at huwag ipilit ang tira. Sinigundahan naman ito agad ni Coach Yong Garcia, and I quote, huwag natin sila bigyan ng chance na magkaroon ng kumpiyansa. Basta, diin lang tayo sa depensa. You see that rhyme there, Anton? and Coach Topek. Sana maging rhythmic din ang laro nila ngayon, hindi ba? You mentioned the three-point shooting, Lexi. That is not the game of the Mabua Cardinals. In contrast to that, ito na bang San Beda, they love to shoot the three-pointer. They take 
an average of 29.23 point attempts per game and make an average of 9.4 three pointers made per contest, coach. That's going to be crucial if you're Mapua right now because you're looking for ways to really have an advantage. As tingnan natin, yung kanina pa pinag-uusapan dito sa last play at on. Ito, pababa si Soriano at Alfaro. At may kita nyo po yan. Binaba ni Soriano yung kanyang braso at natamaan si Alfaro. Clearly, a non-sportsman-like foul. Our referees got it right the first time. Kitang-kita dito, referee Aaron Caniete, international referee making the call. Number 18, falls under criteria one, not legitimate to play the ball. And as players coach, at some point you have to realize that there are cameras and eyeballs everywhere. As much as we want to talk about it, Anton, sometimes yung, yung emotions mo kasi. Kaya naman, palaging inasin, minimuestra ng mga coaches or ng mga players sa bench. Kalma lang, kalma lang. Because right now, you don't need those kind of extra movements sa yung mga manlalaro if you're Mapua. Happy birthday, 25th birthday to the team captain of San Beda. Peter Alfaro, six-foot point guard from Zamboanga City, former Sun Better Red Club. What a journey for him. Part of that high school basketball program and now wanting to graduate as a champion. Yeah, to really admire yung commitment nitong si Peter Alfaro. Kilala natin ang pamilya nito from Zamboanga. They really are a supportive group sa family. Kaya naman, inspired palagi ng laro itong si Peter. Samantala, Andrada. Sumobra yung kanyang tira. Bola na punta dito kay Rosilio. Rosilio, dinedepensa ni Royo. Rosilio, napitawa ng bola. Natapikan. Bola na kay Cortez. Jacob, titira mula sa labas. Bitin. It's Mabua basketball. And Escamis wants it. Escamis. Changing. The pace of his movement right now. Bola na kay Recto. Recto, aatake. Recto, mula sa free throw line. Recto with the conversion as we go now to Hannah Arguelles from the San Beda side. Thank you so much, Anton. With the Red Lions ending the first half with a single point advantage, the whole team seems neither pressured, rattled, or tense as they enter the dugout. Paalala naman ni Coach Yuri sa kanyang kupunan, huwag hayaan ang shooters ng kapilang kupunan to comfortably take shots. Next, he needs more rebounds. And Coach Yuri highlighted individual defense ang makakapanalo sa atin. What he wants, what he wants now for his third quarter is for his team to first check their tempo all throughout the game. Second, take note of their weak side defense. That's the quick update from the side of the Red Lions. What do you think about this, Anton and Coach Topex? Well, Coach Yuri is spot on because Mapua has been killing San Beda on the boards, out rebounding them 34 to 20. Cortez, binigay dito kay Hopia. Hopia, reverse layup, does not work as the ball goes back to the Mapuans. Good defense coming from the players of Coach Grandi Alcantara, making sure that there's not going to be easy baskets para sa kukunan ng San Beda. Cortez. Cortez. Getting crafty with it, draws a foul. JC Recto, we highlighted him. And his matchup with Yukien Andrada, two players who are more than just a sidekick. And JC Recto proving just that as a rookie here in the finals. Sidekick for more itong si Recto. Especially now, na kailangan ng suporta itong si Clint Escamis. Pinag-usapan natin palagi yung fourth quarter. Kaya naman, napakalaking production itong 12 points. Eight rebounds at two assists nitong si JC Recto. At hindi pa nagmimitis, Coach Topek, si JC Recto. Four out of four from the field for JC Recto. Six foot three, forward, 21-year-old rookie from Batasan Hills, Quezon City. And at the free throw line, Jacob Zion Cortez. The son of the legendary cool cat, Mike Cortez. Anton, ang tanong ko na lang dito eh. I'm sure maraming magre-react. Is it cool cat still? Nope. Ako kasi cool cat na ako eh para dito. Ako king lion na. Tama, mas maganda yun. Halfway through the season, 
I already saw him as the King Lion. You know, Robert Pollock, a former King Lion, texted Jacob Cortez before Game 2. King Lion with the Lion emoji. Wow. That gave Cortez the confidence to score 21 points in that do-or-die game. And you, you got a lot of support from the alumni and former players. That's going to be solid for you if you're San Beda. At this very moment, crediting all those supporters, but hindi rin naman mapapatalo ang kukunan ng Makuwa Cardinals. Cortez, Royo mula sa kanto. Rebound recto and Makuwa, Coach Topex, continues to dominate the boards. That's because they're not really gambling on stealing the ball coming from Jacob Cortez. They want to make sure it's established ng mga kanilang uh, defensa. That's why they're forcing also itong kapana ng San Beda to shoot outside threes. Royo, kapitawa ng bola ng ako ni Rosilio. Rosilio, atake. Rosilio finishes with a left hand. Oh my goodness. Peter Rosilio playing the game of his life. The 5'8", 19-year-old point guard from Surigao City, Surigao del Norte, gliding through the air and finishing with the left hand. And the Mapuans are loving it. Sa aming pagpabalik, titira si Rosilio ng kanyang bonus free throw. This is the biggest lead of the game for the Mapua Cardinals. I know three points is not quote and quote big, but here in game number three, it matters. Every possession matters for both of these teams. And so far, itong Mapua making the necessary adjustments during the halftime. Why? Because they're more fluid with their offense. Gone are the first half where it's gonna be a clean examis bringing the ball down. Clean examis finishing. Ngayon ang daming backup. Guy at the free throw line has really been solid for Mapua. Coach, before the game we were exchanging notes and you pointed out that magaling ang Mapua sa third quarter, pero sa fourth dun sila kinukula. I think one of the key factors right now is obviously Coach Randy is forced to keep that group because of what's happening. But right now, dahil sa magandang pinapakita defensively, medyo mapapahinga mga iba mong malalaro. I'm sure Clint X Camis is an exception because you want to put your best player in the big highlight games. Oh, what a save by Peter Rosilio, but did he step on the baseline? A referee says yes. I would rather always go for that, uh, you know, that, that extra possession. Pinag-usapan natin si Peter Alfaro, pag-usapan naman natin itong si Soberano, who's been the gunner for San Beda at the longest time. You Medyo masakit para sa akin na sabihin, pero I have so much respect for Soberano as an athlete and also as a person. You coached against him in the finals when you led LPU to their two finals appearances back to back. Their only two finals appearances in NCAA history. Wow, a flop was called on Peter Rosilio. Oh, baby Shaq. The real baby Shaq of the NCAA, J.R. Taganas. It's nice to see former veterans and Mapuans in attendance. Kulak na lang si The Fortune Cookie, atoy ko. Cortez, drop pass, Andrada with the finish. 
Alam mo, Anton, kanina pa yun eh. Kanina pa hinahanap ni Ant Lee nitong si Jacob Cortez, yung kanyang mga teammates. It just so happened, kanina kay Hopia was missing. But eto naman, by the time itong si Andrada naman, hindi ipapahiya si Jacob Cortez. Escapes, oh no. Jacob Cortez is cramping up. He has right leg. The calf muscle on his right leg. He is cramping up. Jacob Cortez has played 21 minutes, six points, six assists, three rebounds, two for nine from the field. And Jacob is in excruciating pain right now. And you hate to see this because there's still a whole lot of basketball to be played, Coach Lopez. If you're Sanbeda or you're just a basketball fan, I mo makita ng player down on the floor. Especially for a Jacob Cortez because so far, he's really been the focal point ng opensa ng Sanbeda because he's really attracting a lot of defense. Ang maganda dito kay Jacob, he's always sharing that basketball to his teammates. He's a... Jacob Cortez's family, including his mom and his 17-year-old brother who also plays basketball. Let's take a look at, uh, you see it right here, feeling it already upon landing, or maybe even upon takeoff, umangat na yung kanyang calf muscle on his right leg. So the entire Bedad community praying for a quick, quick recovery for their King Lion, Jacob Cortez, who has his family in attendance. Mike, his dad, his mom, Joy, and his brother, who plays for St. Anthony High School in Long Beach, California. Cuenco, bola na punta dito, kay Juan and Bonifacio. Bonifacio contra Andrada. Bonifacio still can't convert. Still looking for that signature game here in the finals. As his team badly needs it. What a pass. Bola na punta dito kay Andrada. Inaatrasan si Warren. Gonzalez for three. Gonzalez masyado palakas. And Jumel Puno, one of the best offensive rebounders in the NCAA. Just hustling for that one. It's gonna be crucial para sa koponan ng San Beda. Who will facilitate para sa kanyang koponan as we see this replay kung kailan itong si Puno was able to get that offensive rebound. Again, rebounds is gonna be crucial for this game. Jomel Puno has had six double-doubles for San Beda this season. Leading his team in that statistical category. Tackling. Humugot na ng malalim si Coach Yuri Escueta. And so has Coach Randy Alcantara. With Bobby Delisay on the floor right now. No Hernandez. No Escamis. They are on the bench as of the moment. Rosilio. Wow! Peter Rosilio. Gives the lead back to Mapua. You know, the thing about Peter Rosilio, hindi niya tinitingnan kung sino yung mga defensa nandun eh. Ang focus niya lang is yung the guy in front of him. That's why he was able to attack. Talking about attack, Utrin Andrade providing that offensive support while Jacob Cortez is resting on the bench. Balikan naman sa San Beda. They're on top 51 to 50 with 2 minutes and 49 seconds to go in the third.
You cannot script this. You cannot dream a better dream. This is reality right here. Players coming up big in the biggest moments of their lives. In this case, just 19 years of existence. Peter Rosilio playing unbelievable basketball here in his first ever Game 3 and experience in the NCAA Finals. Heroes I have made in this kind of ball games para sa kumpanan ng nitong dalawa because somebody's aiming for 23 yung kabilang team naman is going for 32 so you want to edge your name dun sa istorya na yun high low play Bonifacio linapas ang bola Dalisay for 3 that's his role catch and shoot player Kobe Dalisay so it was the right play just couldn't knock it down and what a stretch for Mapua giving Hernandez and Escamis a chance to rest Recto to Dalisay, Dalisay! Big time basket for Kobe Dalisay! Big boys are about to show in this ball game. Who would have thought that besides Clint Escamis and Rosilio, and talking about Recto, and daming lumalabas na mga hero sa kukunan ng Mapua. It's as if Rosilio and Gonzalez aren't rookies. Sila nagbabantayan dito sa finals. Payosik, the sophomore. Payosik, umupo sa ere! James Payosik, puntos para sa mga bidista! And he gives Sanvera back the lead. Our eighth lead change. Recto, contra Puno. Dalisay, catch and shoot! Rebound, James Payosik! Specialty of the house. Payosik, linabas ang bola, tatle for three! No, Recto with the board. Approaching the final minute here in the third period. Rosilio fouled. What a play right here. In this type of situation, you've got to expect the unexpected. Kobe Dalisay, known as a catch and shoot player, nakasingit pa sa ilalim. And James Payosik stepping up in the absence of Jacob Cortez, who is cramping up right now on the sidelines. Support is gonna be crucial, Anton. Sinabi mo nga, wala si Clint Escamis, Rosilio was stepping up. At sa pagkawala naman itong si Jacob Cortez, may kita natin ang mga likes ni Payosing. Oh, a lovely smile from Mapua President and NCAA Policy Board member, Dr. Doji S. Maestre Campo. Oh, Rosilio missing on the second free throw though. And that has been a problem for the Cardinals. They're dismal shooting from the charity stripe, just 6 for 16. 10 missed free throws. Jomel Puno, Viser, given a lot of space, daring him to shoot. Viser moves closer, Payosi, another rebound, blocked by Bonifacio. Big time defensive play by Warren. Kick out to Recto. Recto pulls up. JC Recto! JC Recto, another. Double double, 12 points and 12 rebounds. JC Rick would have just taken that three point shot. Nobody will crash your name, Anton, but just like what we talked about, you always want to go with the highest percentage shot. Jomel, Puno, nowhere to go. Bonifacio saves it to Cyrus Cuenco. Cuenco to the lead side for three. Go to the lead side with a three point bomb. Mapua with their biggest lead of the game. 57 to 53 and this season Mapua is 12 and 1 when leading after three quarters. But as coach Topex Robinson said, Mapua needs to finish strong. Alamin natin yan sa aming pagbabalik.
Makapuso, ang Senior Vice President ng GMA Network Incorporated and Head of Integrated News, Regional TV and Synergy, Oliver Victor B. Amoroso. And we thank Sir Oli for pushing forward with the NCAA and building up our new heroes of the game, starting of course from NCAA Season 96. And here we are in the fourth quarter of season 99. You mentioned Mapua, a third quarter team. They've averaged 23 third quarter points in the first two games. They have 22 here in game three. Big question ngayon, Anton. Will they sustain or will change the flow? Because apparently, every fourth quarter of game one and game two, they've really been struggling. Andrada with a big time triple and a foul on the shot by Jopet Soriano. Yuki and Andrada answering the call. Big time basket by Yuki and Andrada who now leads Sanbera in scoring with 14 points, 3 out of 5 from beyond the arc. Pero ang tanong dito, as you mentioned in your top picks, number one, finish strong. Mapua only averaging 10.5 points in the fourth quarter here in the finals. That's gonna be a big question. Kung paano nga naman tatapos ng napakalakas, especially dito sa ating do or die game three battle. Let's go to Lexi Gonzalez who has this update on the Mapua side. This is a Wait, new feat for the Mapua Cardinals and it's a known fact that nobody expected them to get this far and lead to the finals. They weren't part of the favorites. They started as underdogs, but they are here today to prove everyone that they're also a team to look out for. That's why right now to secure a 32-year, much-awaited championship, Coach, Ra Coach Randy just sticks to a strong defense and for his players to hold out till the end. Strong and steady will make Mapua legendary, Anton and Coach Topek. Could they be nine minutes away from ending that more than three-decade drought? The Mapuans are holding on to their breath right now. And a foul again on a shot. Second time, Mapua has fouled a jump shooter, Coach. That's going to be crucial as we look at si Warren Bonifacio. He might be struggling offensively, but the veteran that he is, hinanap niya yung kanyang open teammate, which happened to be one of the hottest playing guys para sa kopona ng San Beda. Uh, ng Mapua, itong si JC Recto, 16 points, 30, 13 rebounds, at tatlong assists, Anton. Back-to-back, double-double performances from JC Recto coming alive here in the finals, especially in the last two games. One of the things na dapat talaga pagtuunan ng pansin nitong Mapua are those unnecessary fouls. You cannot foul a jump shooter. Palagi natin sinasabi yun sa ating mga manlalaro. But obviously, with the opportunity or the situation at hand, doon sila dapat talagang kumalma at basahing mabuti ang sitwasyon that's in front of them. Bola na sa Mapua. Isang puntos. Ang pinoprotekta din ang lamang. Recto, binigay dito kay Dalisay. One dribble, pull up, binin. Rebound para sa mga bedista. And you've got to wonder how long Paolo Hernandez will remain on the bench para sa Cardinals. At dragal na naman. Masyadong malakas. Bola na kay Escamis. Napulot ni Cuenco. Recto! With a finish on the break! That was a good read coming from Cuenco, making sure that with the two, three against two, he will make the best decision. JC Recto with a career high 18 points. What a time for it to come. Andrada, another one! Second deadlock on the game. 
chance of defense reverberating around the Aradata Coliseum. Bonifacio, elbow jumper, wala pa rin. Warren Bonifacio continues to struggle here in these finals. The team captain playing in his final game in the NCAA. Payosik recovers the loose ball. A chance to take back the lead. James on the drive. And Mapua committing some fouls here. That's the third team foul, and it's still very early in the fourth coach. That was a bad decision coming from Mapua, obviously. As much as possible, you want to play Alice defense. Both of those possessions, Kanina, because of the one on one breakdown that they've been having, a lot of players are really stepping up. At kaya naman pinag-uusapan natin itong si Yutin Andrada that's really been contributing a lot while wala pa itong si Jacob Cortez. So tingnan naman natin pagpasok ni Jacob kung how will he will finish for this final Game 3. Jacob Cortez back on the floor. Collective applause from the Bedans here in attendance. James Payose gives the lead back to San Beda. James Payosing, a 64.1% free throw shooter coming off the bench in back-to-back -back games. The only two times he has come off the bench for San Vera this season. And Payosing converts on those two all-important free throws. Tenth lead change. Bola na kay Escamis. Cortez defending him. Escamis for three. No! Tagle picks up the rebound. Tagle, binigay kay Cortez. Cortez slicing through the defenders. Binigay kay Andrada. You can do it. You can Andrada gives San Beda a five-point lead. Recto with the response. Mapua firing blanks here in the fourth. Let's go quickly now to Hannah Arguelles. Thank you so much, Anton. As you can see, the energy is electric right now. And it is a grueling back and forth between the Red Lions and the Cardinals. So what Coach Yuri is once again emphasizing to his team is individual defense. And when I check on Jacob Cortez, his right leg is still being stretched. And he says that the pain is currently at an 8 out of 10. So in the short amount of time left in the fourth quarter, I ask and answer this question. Can a legacy be defined in 10 minutes? Yes, it can. And in this game, make it two legacies. That's all from the side of the Red Lions, Anton and Coach Topex. Many legacies can be defined on this day. And players that believe the most will be defining their stories for the rest of their lives. Yukian Andrada, big time basket, game high, 20 points right now. Anton, this is where heroes are born. Gate attendance, 23,077. That broke the Game 2 attendance record of 22,465. Maraming maraming salamat, mga kapuso. This is our live gate attendance here at the Araneta Coliseum for Game 3. 23,077 roaring Mapuans and Bedans. But again, Jacob Cortez feeling the effects of cramps on that right leg. And he's trying to stay relaxed, stay zen amidst the ruckus, amidst the roaring fans from both sides. Another crucial turnover. Cuenco, unsuspecting. Tagle. The variety of point guards, AJ Royo, Eman Tagle, Nigel Gonzalez, and Peter Alfaro have supported the King Lion, Jacob Cortez today, Coach Topex. Jacob Cortez, as much as he was sitting on the bench, and damning support group that really provided the power para sa kupona ng San Beda. Habang nakakapagpahinga siya, talking about Payosing, talking about itong si Andrada, who has really been providing the firepower offensively para sa kupona ni Coach Yuri Escueta. A huge second half for Yuki and Andrada. 
Right now, a game-high 20 points. Andrada, second leading scorer of San Beda, averaging 12.2 points per contest. Exceeding that output here in Game 3. Andrada, not that time. Hats off to Jacob Cortez, has been ramping up since the third period. He is gutting it out here. Hernandez is also back on the floor. Para sa Mabua. Bola na kay Escamis. Escamis. Nagahanap na mapapasan. Binigay kay Paulo. Paulo. Atake. Hernandez. No. Bonifacio. No. Sorry. Misses at the rim. Cortez. Good closeout by Cuenco. But Cortez has the moves. Here's the King Lion. Jacob Cortez. Much in the clutch for Jacob. Zion Cortez puts San Beda on top. 68 to 61. Timeout Mapua. Five minutes and 24 seconds. Yan ang oras na natitira dito sa ikaapat na yugto ng Game 3. Ang huling laban dito sa Season 99 ng NCAA. Maraming salamat mga kapuso sa inyong panonood. At Don Ross working alongside Coach Topex Robinson in what has been a classic encounter. Another classic Game 3 in the history of the NCAA. Napakalaking katangunan dito para sa court pala ng Mapua. Will they be able to add more points sa kanilang four, four points so far dito sa court court because they finished off with 57 so far. They only scored four. Finishing strong has been always the big question mark para sa court pala ni Coach Randy Alcantara. It's the same situation, the same problem for the Cardinals but they still have time. And that's a turnover by the rookie. And he even lost his shoe in the process. That's how fast he is for his own good. Itong si Nigel Gonzalez. Panibagong pagkakataon para sa Mapua. Staring at a 7-point deficit. A 15-4 run by the Bedans. Escamis with a jumper. Escamis has been cold here in the second half. 10 points in the first half. Just 3 here in the second what was missing para sa kapala ng Mapua was the execution that they had at the start of the first quarter. As we see dito si itong si Warren Bonifacio really having a hard time with the physicality of this game. Mapua has been searching for their big man, their longest tenured player. Where is Warren? He has 4 minutes and 47 seconds to show up here in this deciding game. Sometimes it's not really your scoring but your leadership that has to be tested. And I'm sure Coach Randy Alcantara will bet everything on his veteran Warren Bonifacio. They've already won a championship together. The first ever championship of the Malayan Red Robins in high school. This is a tandem that goes 10 years back. And this is a hero who was born here in season 99, Jacob Cortez, the King Lion, coming up big. Rosilio gives the ball to Warren. Pinigay dito kay Hernandez, back to Warren Bonifacio. Pinalik dito kay Hernandez for three. 
that's what we're talking about. The leadership of Warren Bonifacio. Yes, he might not be scoring, but he could easily force his shot kanina at ton, but still decided to go with his teammates, which nailed the three. Ito si Hernandez. A foot on the line, so just a two-pointer para kay Hernandez. And a rebound by Bonifacio. Escamis. Binigay kay Dalisay. Dalisay. Rosilio pulls up for three. Popia with a rebound. Sanbera holding on to a 68-63 lead. Andrada for three. Rebound by Yossing. Another crucial offensive rebound for Sanbera. Payosik, spin move. Payosik, fade away. Wala. Another offensive rebound. Cliff Hopia playing in his final game in the NCAA with an all important rebound. The 6 foot 8, 25 year old from Tanao City, Cebu. Rosinho, Bonifacio, Dalisai for three. Short. Mapua, only seven points here in the fourth quarter. Sanbera with 15. Eman Table. Table steps back for three. In and out by Yossi again. He did it yes. And the Pennants are feeling it. Back to their biggest lead of the game at nine. Timeout Mapua. Heroes are either born or made. Paulo Hernandez was a hero for Mapua pretty much his entire career in the NCAA from high school to college. But names like Cliff Hopia, Peter Alfaro, Dami Kuntapay, graduating players from the San Pedro side looking to celebrate alongside their new heroes, just like the sophomore. James Payosin coming up with an all-important rebound. Finish strong. Coach Topex Robinson, this was your first key to victory for Mapua. That's really going to be crucial. We mentioned earlier, ayaw natin a repeated pitch yung mangyayari para sa Mapua. They finished 20, 22 points doon sa ating third quarter and so far, they've really been struggling in this fourth quarter. And a steal by Payosin. James Payosi, a candidate for finals MVP. Should Sanbeda finish the job? James Payosi draws a foul. And coach, I think the three early fouls that Sanbeda drew were big in the fourth. That really stopped the momentum para sa opponan ng Mabua because now you cannot commit a foul because you're gonna bring a red shirt in the free throw line. And so far, itong Sanbeda has been shooting well from the free throw. What a story for James Payosing, a Sun Better Red Cup, but last season was part of the reserve list, wasn't even part of the main roster. And with the departure of James Quekute, the role of James Payosing suddenly expanded, became a starter 
but accepted the bench role in the past two finals games, coach. Patience is a virtue para dito kay James Payosing. Just waiting for that sweet little time para sa kanyang opportunity. And the proud father of James Payosing, who hails from Davao de Oro but grew up in Surigao del Sur, Escalves missing for three. Time is slowly running out on the Cardinals, but they get a steal. A glimmer of hope. Cuenco for three. Cyrus Cuenco! There's still a light at the end of the tunnel for Mapua. But that light is slowly getting dim. Payosing has the basketball. Jacob Cortez, the King Lion, is on the bench suffering from cramps. James Payosing draws another foul. James Payosing, walang iniiwang opportunity just when everybody has tired. He has extra air left in his tank, finishing strong, attacking the basket, and again, forcing itong si Bonifacio to his fifth and final foul dito sa season 99. Warren Bonifacio playing his final minutes and second in his NCAA career. Final game, seven rebounds, three assists, only four points, two out of eight from the field in 26 minutes. You've got the feel for Warren Bonifacio who has spent 10 years with Mapua, 10 years in the NCAA as a student athlete, but now has to watch as his team tries to pull off a miracle. All is not lost para sa Kupanan na Mapua with 1 minute and 27 left. Down by 8 points, you have to make sure you're gonna go down swinging. Hopia with a rejection on the MVP. James Payosi with his 4th double-double this season. Puno. Wasting away the time, Jonathan Puno stumbles. Bonner by JC Recto in a race against time. Hernandez, short. Rebound. Emma Tagle, and they give the ball to James Payosi. Time is slowly running out. And the Sun Better community is starting to feel it. I can feel the presence of Bedans. Behind us, Coach Topex Robinson standing up, waiting to celebrate. All we see is red at this part of the closing minutes of the fourth quarter. rallying his troops, doing whatever he can on the bench as they are on the verge of history, knocking on history's doorstep. Referees will try to determine who touched the basketball last. Assistant coach Yong Garcia coaching to the very last second. Escamis and Hernandez are on the bench though, coach. Yeah, I think that's going to be for defensive purposes. I'm sure itong uh, Mapua is trying to steal the ball and go for the foul and uh, send a San Beda player in the free throw line. Jacob Cortez is back on the floor for the Red Lions. Gonzalez, binigay dito kay Tagle. Cortez, hinihingi ang bola. Bola na sa King Lion. Double team comes. Cortez picks up the loose ball. And could not be a foul. Balikan natin dito, Jacob Cortez. Natapikan, ginobol team na. A furious chase for the loose ball. Jacob 
Bola na sa Mapua. 30.9 seconds to go. Recto for three. Rebound. James Payosing. He did it again. Another all-important rebound for Payosing. Pero may chance sa padito ang Mapua. Seconds on the shot clock for the Cardinals. Escamis for three. Hopia. Get a big second of the And Tatle is fouled. Evan Tatle. What a game. Another red cup turned red lion. And here comes Coach Yuri Escueta. With a beautiful gesture, bringing in the graduating players, Coach Topex. You have to give credit where credit is due. Because when San Beda was struggling, they defended on this, this, uh, their, their veterans. You know, kaya naman, fitting tribute to his veterans. Putting in itong si Kuntapay at itong si Peter Alfaro. Who will come out after 15 seconds as champions? And on his birthday as well. Peter Alfaro celebrating his 25th birthday today. And San Beda, moments away from a record 23rd men's basketball championship. Tagle converts on the free throw. Seconds remaining. Ball is with the rookie MVP, Clint Escamis. Escamis for three. No. Recto. There's still time. 3.2 seconds to go. But the celebration has begun. And Coach Yuri Escueta has done it. Once again, San Beda, champions, kings of NCAA basketball. They win NCAA season 99. <laughs> wow, what a way to finish this season if you're San Beda. Nobody thought that you will make it. You struggled at the start. A lot of questions were raised kung ito bang team na to is good enough to win a championship. Coach Yuri Squeta being questioned, is he good enough to lead the San Beda team? And now we have a champion in San Beda, Red Lions. On the other end though, heartbreak. Emotions pouring over as they came so close to their goal. But as the story ends, we know this in the world of sports, Coach Topex, there will be one winner and there will be one team that will learn from this loss and grow. We have to give credit also to the Mapua Cardinals. Just like what you mentioned, same story ito ng San Beda coming into the season. Nobody would really expected them to go all the way. Short, yes, they did. Pero you have to give respect to the players that Coach Randy Alcantar has built in his program. It's not over yet. Clint Escamis still has years of eligibility. Paolo Hernandez also has one more year of eligibility. Our best player of the game, your choice, Coach Topex Robinson. A fitting final game of the season for Yuki and Andrada. Yuki and Andrada left off where J Jacob Cortez was missing. Yuki, Yuki and Andrada scoring huge in the third quarter and at the start of the fourth quarter, lifting up itong mga manlalaro ng San Beda. Five out of ten from beyond the arc for a big man. That is just huge. Yuki and Andrada, six foot five, with a ratchet, with the outside touch, helping San Beda back their 23rd men's basketball crown. You know what's good about this team? You have to give credit then itong kay Oliver Tagle because he was the one who was creating those, those opportunities while wala itong si Jacob Cortez. It was an entire squad 
making the contributions para sa kumbana ni Coach Yuri Escueta. And a full circle moment also for Coach Yuri Escueta because he too was a former Bedan, one of the greatest Red Cup point guards played for the late great, the legendary Coach Ato Badolato. Yeah, hats off para kay, you know, kay Coach Yuri. This guy is one of the you know, nicest persons I've met and then competed against with. He deserves this championship for San Beda. And winning the championship in just his second season as the head coach, bringing in as a consultant his coach in college, Norman Black, who was part of the first five beat for them. So the relationship is there. But of course, we, we cannot forget the other coaches. We have Coach Jenkins Messina. We have former San Beda coach, one of the winningest NCAA coaches, Boyet Fernandez, also part of the coaching staff. That was a solid performance coming from these players because of the backbone that they have. They have a great group of supporting cast, you know, trying to give Coach Yuri Squeta an added lift, an added voice, and an added brain. There you see Coach Randy Alcantara and the rookie MVP, Clint Escamis, who came back to Mapua with a mission to end that 32-year title drought. But they're going to have to wait a little bit more if they want to bring back the championship to Mapua. Patience is going to be a great virtue for the Mapua Cardinals. These experiences will only make them better and stronger come season 100. Cyrus Cuenco played his heart out as well, the X Factor for Mapua all season. And they get a huge round of applause from the Mapuans who celebrate a historic season, the first time ever also that they ended the elimination round and entered the final four as the number one seed. But as it goes, as the story goes, only one champion will be left standing. And it is Sun Beda winning over Mapua 76 to 66 in a classic game number three. Jacob Cortez, the ceremonial cutting of the net. Jacob Cortez, the King Lion. You know what? It's shocking to me that he was not part of the mythical five. No San Beda player got an award, but the Bedans believe that Jacob deserves it, but they got something better. The championship, their 23rd men's basketball crown. Vindication is gonna be key for this San Beda group of guys. Yes, they might have gotten the individual awards, but it takes team to win a championship. What a moment for Jacob Cortez and He's doing this in just his third season, Coach Topex. So may dalawang taon pa yan, si Jacob Cortez. I'm excited for what future holds dito kay Jacob Cortez. And we just hope that he will be able to be given a chance to defend the title come season 100. I'm sure you're going to love your off-season battles with <laughs> Jacob and San Beda, Coach Topex. It will be a fun one. You know, we've, we've seen each other in the playoff, I mean, in the, in the preseason. And I'm sure it's going to be an exciting, you know, preparation for Season 100 for San Beda because now you will be the hunted come Season 100. Coach, I want to ask you, you did this in your own version of a Game 3. Now here watching this different basketball program achieve the goal, the same goal that you had. How do you describe a moment like this? It, it's 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 priceless, you know. Uh, sinabi nga natin, pinapangarap to ng mga manlalaro, Antone. You know, not only winning a championship, but also playing in the Game 3 with all of these 24,000 people watching you. Here only on, this, uh, on the arena. But imagine the impact that you have made for your program, for your community. And it's always nice to represent your school. Doubted in the beginning, Many people question, including myself, I did not have San Beda in my final four predictions. I actually labeled them as the dark horse. And then in the second round, a rough start, a one and four second round start. Coach Yuri Escueta feels that that was the turning point because his players could have folded, the team could have folded, but they stuck together and that's what led them to this moment and this 23rd championship. You have to give credit to the leadership and the culture but that Coach Yuri Escuate has built together with his coaching staff, making sure that their circle will be 
challenge proof. You know, they struggled, yes, a lot of questions, yes, but now answers were made. And when we come back, we will begin the coronation of the new champions of the NCAA back on top once again, the Sun Beta Red Lions. The celebration begins here at the Mecca of Philippine Sports, the Araneta Coliseum, as San Pedro University just made history, winning their 23rd men's basketball title, beating Mapua in a deciding game number three. James Payosing, what a fourth quarter he had. Just a sophomore, the future is looking bright and scary for the San Pedro Red Lions at Makapuso. I am standing alongside two of the most successful collegiate coaches that we've had here, especially in the year 2023. Coach Topex Robinson, who won his own Game 3. And of course today, Coach Yuri Escueta. Coach, I'm going to turn it over to you. <laughs> this is your moment and Coach Yuri's. I, I guess I can lang, uh, Anton. Credit is given where credit is due. One thing that Coach Yuri just told me right now when I congratulated him, sabi niya, ang gagaling ng players ko. Never took the credit and I'm so happy for this guy right here. Coach uh, Yuri, how do you feel? Well, of course, uh, being beside Coach Topex is really an honor. Uh, congratulations, Coach. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, I, I don't want to say this is about me or, diba? it's, the, it's really the players that uh, gave it their all. Uh, when we, we were struggling during the second round, they, they were the one who decided that they wanted to go the other route. The route that nobody believed in us. Diba? And they continued to believe in themselves. Diba? The coaching staff, we, we, we guided them. But really, it's the players who said, we want to go this way and this is our route. So, yeah. Coach Yuri AJ Royo, a reserve sa simula ng season. You started him in game number two. It was a difficult decision to bring James Payosing off the bench. He was a starter all throughout the season. What came into that decision na sumugal ka at nagtiwala ka sa isang reserve point guard who came up big in Game 2 and 3? Uh, knowing AJ, because... Jacob Cortez <laughs> just you. gave Yuri Escueta the game Thanks, ball. Jake. Uh, knowing AJ, it's, when we got him, we know what he can do. His experience being uh, playing college in Davao. So uh, we really had confidence in them. Even today, all, all, all the players that we have today, Jacob went down, Yuki went down. It's just how we're built. We're, we're built to, you know, support each other. I'm a young <laughs> head coach. Diba? I, I need their support. Diba? So uh, this is just, it's really all about us. Yeah, diba? Coach Yuri, I know that we namin kanina ni Anton. When Jacob Cortez went down, you know, what was going through your mind? Who's, who will you pick as the reliever? I mean, solid kasi yung naging performance even when Jacob was out. That was the time talaga na nag-step up yung iyong support group. And what was the decision all about? I wasn't even worried uh, to mm. tell you the truth. I was really confident from, uh, with the guys who's, who's stepping in. Mm. Uh, seeing them work during the... Uh, Pre-season, preparations, diba? how, work they, how hard they work really gives you confidence to put in, in, in these kinds of situations. So uh, I really have trust in all of them. Coach Yuri, since this is your moment, a chance to greet everybody na nanunod sa GMA at sa GTV. 
Uh, first of all, uh, of course, I want to thank God for this opportunity. Uh, opportunity lang ang uh, hiningi ko, binigay niya pati yung championship. So, uh, of, I want to thank also yung uh, Sambeda community for supporting us. Uh, maraming salamat po. Uh, pasensya at uh, medyo nag-struggle, which is, uh, <laughs> alam ko, lots of, uh, diba, there, there were doubters. But again, thank you also to, to the uh, supporters from the start. And uh, dami akong kalang pasamatan. Boss MVP, thank you. Uh, wala akong speeches. <laughs> speeches. Enjoy thank this you. moment, you, Coach GMA. Yuri. Champion coach for San Beda Coach Yuri Escueta. We'll be back to begin the coronation of the new NCAA champion, San Beda University. Thank you, Anton. Thank you, Coach Topex. What a game three we just had right here at the Big Dome, the Araneta Coliseum in Cobao, Quezon City. The only way to end such an epic season. San Beda winning it in game number three of your NCAA season 99 finals. And now we shall proceed to the crowning of our new champions here in the NCAA. But before that, let us first acknowledge the presence of our VIPs, a.k.a. the NCAA Management Committee and some members of our policy board. We'll start with Arellano University, Sir Peter Kaiko. From Colegio de San Juan de Letran, Father Victor Calvo, Jr. OP. From the De La Salle College of St. Benilde, Mr. Manuel Raymond Dax Castellano. Representing Emilio Aguinaldo College, Dr. Lorenzo Lorenzo. Also welcoming the chairman of NCAA Season 99 and the management committee representative of Jose Rizal University, Sir Efren Jose Paul Supan. Also here is the senior vice president and head of GMA Integrated News, Regional TV and Synergy, Mr. Oliver Victor B. Amoroso. Next, we have policy board member and also the president of Mapua University, Dr. Doji Maestre Campo. Policy board member from San Beda University, Father Aloysius Maranan, OSB. Also here is the Vice Chairman of Season 99, Mr. Hercules Calianta from Lyceum of the Philippines University. Representing Mapua University, Mr. Melchor Divina. From San Beda University, Attorney Jonas Kabochan. And from the University of Perpetual Help, System Delta, Mr. Frank Goosey Jr. Now before we hand out 
our trophies for our runner-up finishers and our champions. We would like to give out first the Sportsmanship Award to the team that has played a game of basketball with, honored, or with honor and upheld their true spirit of sports competition this whole season. Now to award the Sportsmanship Award, let's call on Sir Paul Supan, Sir Oliver Victor Amoroso to give out the award. And Dr. Lorenzo Lorenzo. Sportsmanship Award goes to Arellano University. And to receive the Sportsmanship Award, we have Sir Peter Caico. Of course, Mancom representative of Arellano. Congratulations, round of applause for Arellano University Sportsmanship Award for season 99. And now we call on Attorney Jonas Kabuchan and Sir Melchor Divina to Sir to join Sir Oli and Sir Paul alongside Dr. Doji Maestre Campo and Father Aloysius Marana to join Sir Oli and Sir Paul for the awarding of our runner-up finishers for season 99 men's basketball. The runner-up finishers for season 99, the Mapua Cardinals. Still a fantastic season for Mapua. Back to the finals for the second time in three seasons. Coach Randy Alcantara and the rest of his guys. This is a solid foundation for the next years to come here in the NCAA. Finished number one as well in the elimination round at 15 and three. Defeated Benilde in the final four on their way to this final series. Once again, congratulations, palakpakan po natin ang Mapua Cardinals. And now, we crown the champions of season 99. Here we go. This is championship number 23. They are officially back on top of NCAA basketball. Your season 99 champions, the San Beda Red Lions! of 1,861 days is over for San Beda University because the crown is back in Mendiola. Once again, your NCAA Season 99 champions, the San Beda Red Lions!
Congratulations to San Pedro University completing the mission here in game number three and ending the drought, the championship drought for the Vindiola Bay School. And from the champion team, it's now time for us to name our finals MVP. But all of solid performers, clutch performers in these games in the finals. But our chosen finals MVP averaged 9.6 points per game, 12 rebounds per game, and 1.3 times per contest. Your NCAA Season 99 finals MVP is... James Payosi! <laughs> Mr. Athleticism, Mr. Hustle and a do-it-all player for Coach Yuri Escueta this year. All right, and now we name our Coach of the Year. Congratulations to our Finals MVP, James Payosing. And now we head to our Coach of the Year. Coach of the Year is Coach Yuri Escueta. Only his second season as the head coach of the Sun Better Red Lions. A full year of preparation, making a ton of difference for Coach Yuri Escueta and the rest of his guys. Coach Yuri Escueta, our Coach of the Year, James Payosing, our Finals MVP. Okay, sorry po, pinibreak ko yung photo op natin dito, but we are joined by these two gentlemen. Coach, unahin ko muna. Sige, unahin muna kita, Coach. Okay, una muna. I want to know what's going through your mind right now after bringing back the crown to your alma mater. First of all, I want to thank uh, God, of course, for giving us the opportunity. The Sambeda community, Boss MVP, and uh, Father Aloy, Madam Salamat po. Salat ng uh, monks and priests ng Sambeda. Madam Salamat. Uh, I, I, I'm speechless. Uh, it's really the, no, the players. Uh, they're the one who decided that they wanted to take this path diba? In, uh, to win this championship. They started working hard, even, e, e, working hard even before the season started. Way back January, nagumpisa kami January, and that's when I saw in them that you know uh, there were struggles, there were adversity, but uh, they they remained resilient through all of it. There are guys who left. Sabi ko nga sa kanila kayo na, uh, if we win this championship, I'm I'm gonna be really proud of them, and they deserve this. After all that, all that has happened last year and this year, even the year before, before I came, uh, and this is a, these are the guys who stayed, and who the guys who believe in themselves, the guys who believe in the coaching staff, all the coaching staff. And again, I want to thank also your coaching staff. Ko. I'm very lucky to have Coach Norman, Coach Boyet, all the other coaches, Coach Bo Coach uh, Francis, 
Coach Alex, Coach Jaikis, Coach Andre. Uh, maraming salamat sa inyo. Kung pwede ko lang hatiin to, hati-hati tayo dito. There we go. Our Coach of the Year, Coach Suri Escueta. Coach, maraming salamat and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Coach Suri Escueta, again, they took the toughest path to the final. Kasama natin ngayon ang ating finals MVP. Speaking of toughness, embracing the big moments here in the finals, James Payosing, your thoughts? You're now an NCAA champion. Ano po mapasok sa isip mo ngayon? Uh, sobrang saya. Uh, after five years, nabalik sa atin natin yung championship. Ito may baby bonus lang to. Masaya, champion tayo! James, nakita natin yung tapang mo dito sa finals. Pag walang maka-score, pag kinakailangan, may usko more sa team mo, you were willing to take the risk and of course, Grab the, the opportunity as well to take over for your team. San ka humuhugot ng lakas at inspirasyon papunta dito sa final series and game three in particular? Uh, since day one. Since day one, naghihirap kami kasama namin si Lord. And then, uh, uh, committed kami each other. And then, pagdating sa season, sabi namin, alamin namin yung role namin. Uh, maraming challenges dumating sa team namin. And then, hindi kami nag up. And together kami as one. Ito, kukuha na namin. James, you had a week to prepare for game number three. Ano yung, kwento mo naman sa amin, ano yung mga nangyari all throughout the week in preparation para sa laban na to? Uh, yung one week preparation, uh, sobrang dali lang. Pero, uh, tiwala kami sa coaching staff namin. Uh, binigay namin sa kanila. Uh, sinasabihan nila kung ano yung dapat gawin namin. Yung game plan namin. And MVP! yun, sinunod namin. Nakuha MVP! namin ito. Grabe yun. Okay. Huli na lang bago kita pabatiin, James. Pag-usapan natin yung mga teammates mo. I'm sure you're dedicating this championship to your graduating players, the seniors on this team. Dami kong tapay, Clifford Hopia, Peter Alfaro. Sino pa isa? JV Gallego, also graduating for your team. Anong masasabi mo sa karakter ng team na to? Kasi hindi ko natanong kanina kay Coach Suri, you had the toughest path to the finals. You had to win four games, to four tough games to end the elimination round para lang makalock in ang Final Four spot. You beat LPU twice. Dito sa finals, you lost game number one and then you won the next two. Talk about the character of this team. Kung gaano ka-resilient to, lalong-lalo na sa Season 99. We are the Lions. <laughs> Hindi kami sumusuko talaga. <laughs> Yun yung karakter namin. Isang-isa sa amin. There you go. Sige, ito na. Bumati ka na, James, lahat. Uh, binabati ko yung buong San Beda community para sa inyo to. Si Lord, nabinigay sa amin yung panalo. And then, sa family ko dyan, sa Surigao, sa Oclarit family, sa, nab sa Nabunturan, sa mga tropa ko sa Davao City, uh, Coach Dong, Coach G. Cross, Coach Ram, and then, kina Coach Manu, kay Boss Kevin, kay Boss Benin, sa lahat ng sumusuporta sa amin. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. I love you. There you go, James. Congratulations. Once again, your finals MVP, James Payosing. And now, you got here the policy board member for San Beda University, Father Aloysius Maranan OSB with our championship trophy. Sir, nakayapos ka na dyan. Father, nakayapos ka na dyan. It's been a while. I mentioned earlier, it's been 1,861 days since your last championship here in the NCAA. For San Beda standards, matagal-tagal yun. Anong pakiramdam that the trophy, the crown, is now back in Mendiola? Sobrang saya, masaya ang aming Pasko, champion as San Beda. Champion is back to Mendiola. We have nothing to say but thank you, Lord. Thank you, MVP. Thank you, all the supporters. Thank you, Red Lions. Thank you to Coach Yuri and all the members of the coaching staff. Maraming salamat. Your hard work, your dedication made it back again to San Beda. Mabuhay, go San Beda fight. Mabuhay, Red Lions. Maligaya ang Pasko natin. There you go, Father Aloysius Maranan, OSB, Policy Board Member from San Beda University. And now I throw it back to our... Oh, no, dito na pala sila. No, I'm not gonna throw it back. They're here. I'm gonna welcome them back to the coverage, Mr. Anton Rojas and Coach Topex Robinson, who, by the way, is present in another game number three. <laughs> well, credit goes to San Beda. Sabi ko nga, I think this is a rare times that San Beda is coming off as the underdogs. Yeah. And they really pulled it off. And again, so much respect 
for San Beda University. Yeah. And they really overcame the odds because if you remember the last two times, San Beda played in a game number three. They were unfortunate as they lost against Letran. So they exercised those demons and became champions. And the year 2023, their 23rd championship. But San Beda has no problem because their trophy chest is the size of a two-bedroom condominium unit. So kasang kasha sa lahat ng mga yung tropeo ng San Beda dun sa Mendiola. Grabe yan. Dalawang, oh, or isang two-bedroom. Grabe, okay. Oh. Think, siguro, this is just a testament how far good of a program. Mm. You know, somebody has one of the barometers of college basketball dito sa ating, uh, sa ating bansa. And, you know, everybody's been looking up on how they do it. And I'm sure right now, with winning another championship, the 23rd is gonna be so sweeter. Okay, Ton, do the honors. And saying goodbye to our audience who joined us, or joined us pretty much the entire season. Makapuso, if there's one thing that we learned, you cannot underestimate the heart of a champion. And San Pedro University, the winningest collegiate basketball program, even in high school here in the entire Philippines. And we would like to thank you, Makapuso, for joining us throughout this journey, which has been a season like no other. So on behalf of my partners right here, Martin Avier, of course, our champion coach <laughs> coming back home, Mr. Game 3, Coach Topex Robinson, our courtside reporters, the entire team, Sir Oli Amoroso, Coach Hammer, yeah. Martin Antonio, let's not forget him. My name is Anton Rojas saying, maraming maraming salamat po, mga kapuso. Again, mula sa buong puwersa ng GMA. Thank you so much and we will see you all next year for the continuation of NCAA Season 99.